Wisconsin Clean Cities is pleased to present in the winter webinar series in partnership with South Shore Clean Cities. These webinars will focus on a variety of sustainable transportation topics in an effort to provide key information to our members and stakeholders. All webinars will be pre-recorded and released to allow viewers to watch and learn at their convenience. Today, we proudly present the US EPA's SmartWay program webinar. SmartWay, launched in 2004, is a partnership between the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, and the freight industry to reduce fuel consumption and air pollution. Through this program, the EPA has worked with freight shippers, carriers, logistics companies, and other stakeholders to save almost 200 million barrels of oil. The program has spurred the adoption of fuel-saving technologies and operational practices, helping companies lower costs and meet sustainability goals. Joining us today to offer insight on the SmartWay program is Patrice Thornton of the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, along with John Sheehy of EVO Transportation. Wisconsin Clean Cities is thrilled to welcome both Patrice and John. Thank you, Kelly. First up is Patrice Thornton. Patrice has worked for EPA since 1992 in what is now with OTAQ's Transportation and Climate Division. Based in Ann Arbor, Michigan at the National Vehicle and Fuel Emissions Laboratory, Patrice is part of the SmartWay Transport Partnership Program, where she co-manages the SmartWay Affiliate Program and leads the Shipper Engagement Initiative in the Program Development and Management Team. Patrice holds a BA from Wayne State University in Detroit, Michigan. Take it away, Patrice. Okay, well, thank you, Kelly. I wanted to just take a moment and thank both Wisconsin Clean Cities and South Shore Clean Cities for this invitation. Both organizations are SmartWay affiliates, and they have agreed to educate their members and stakeholders about sustainable freight transportation. This webinar is a way to fulfill that commitment, and we really appreciate your efforts. Um, advancing the next screen. Very good. Let's take just a quick minute to talk about why freight matters and to help understand smart way. It's sometimes useful to understand what we mean by the freight industry. Shippers are the companies, and they can be big or small, with materials and goods to move. And then carriers are the companies that move those goods. We have many shippers in our program that have their own in-house private fleets, but most don't, and they contract out with other um, commercial freight carriers. We also have found that shippers use 3PLs, or third-party logistics providers, and they help the shipper to hire the most efficient carrier for the job. All three of these partner types are part of the SmartWay program. And we have one of our carrier partners who will be speaking in a few moments. We know that freight matters because it's essential to U.S. jobs and the economy. It cuts across virtually every economic sector, as you can see from this slide. There are hundreds uh, and thousands of individuals and companies that are part of the freight industry. Collectively, freight and logistics pump over one and a half trillion dollars into our annual economy. And the industry employs over 13 million people with about 7 million in trucking related jobs. So there's a breadth and complexity in this industry and also opportunities for improvement. We know that freight is huge. <laughs> um, if the U.S. trucking industry were a country, it would be the 33rd largest in the world. But trucking is also a small business story. We work with many national and regional fleets because they operate the most trucks per company and typically drive the most miles per truck. But it's interesting that the majority of trucking firms are small businesses. 
Many of these companies bring goods to small and rural communities that may only be served by truck, and that's true for 80% of the U.S. communities. Smartway works with fleets of all sizes, and we have found that it's often the smaller companies that stand to benefit the most from the program. One of the reasons is because the smaller companies don't always have the resources to do their own testing on different technologies to see what works and what doesn't work. So they're able to use the methodology that, that Smartway provides. And Smartway also gives companies visibility and a way to distinguish their services for customers. So when we started Smartway, we focused on larger companies, but today 30% of our trucking partners are smaller. They operate 25 or fewer trucks. We've got additional ideas aimed at helping these smaller partners, which we'll identify in the um, early part of this year. We're looking at a um, efficient online tracking tool that the smaller companies can use, but we'll talk more about that in the coming months. transportation energy use. It's really one third of transportation energy use and it's expected to triple within the next um, 30 years. The bottom line is that freight brings us the stuff that makes our lives better, contributes to jobs and economic growth, but it comes at an environmental and public health cost. We've got to keep that in mind. The same qualities that make diesel so attractive, the power and durability, also means that older, less efficient freight trucks and equipment can remain in use for longer periods of time. And so that's why we developed the Smart Rate Program as a way to work with some of these um, older fleets. And I'll give you a little bit of background on the SmartWay program. It was jointly developed, as Kelly mentioned earlier, in 2004. We worked with the trucking industry. And in a nutshell, it's to reduce fuel usage, reduce emissions, help improve the reputation of the industry. We found that 15 years ago, trucks were thought to be dirty and they weren't safe. And working with many of the um, associations such as American Trucking Association and our other affiliates like Wisconsin Clean Cities and South Shore Clean Cities, we've helped to improve that reputation. You know, the industry is working to be more efficient. They are working to be safer. They care about the environment. They care about air quality. SmartWay's approach to freight is, is really simple. It's based on leveraging existing business relationships among the various companies that are engaged in moving goods. We've helped to simplify how they exchange environmental performance information about their freight operations. We use one integrated um, carbon tracking tool, and it's really an Excel spreadsheet but it's customized for each partner type, the carrier, the shipper, and the 3PL. Shippers that want information on their environmental footprint for their sustainability reporting and other internal needs can upload all their carrier results into this single tool. And in addition, the carriers and the 3PLs also use that one form for all their customers, which is transparent and creates a more level playing field, since it is a common yardstick. We're proud to say that we've retained our approach and we've refined our approach because it is customer focused. We check in with our partners on a regular basis and we maintain a strong customer fo focused culture. We continue to reach out to our partners just to see if there are changes that need to be made or to check in on how we're doing. And that collaboration has helped us to build trust with the industry. And I believe it's contributed to the program's growth.
So how does Smart Way actually work? It's really based on continuous improvement. As you can see from that diagram, you start out by measuring your footprint. And you do that with that carbon tracking tool that I was talking about. And then you benchmark your performance. You know where you're at. You report the results to uh, the EPA Smart Way team. We share with you different ways that you can innovate your operations and improve efficiency. And then you start over again. Our carrier partners voluntarily submit information about their freight, their, uh, freight operations. We merge this information with EPA emissions information to develop the environmental performance score. And then we rank based on the performance for different partner types. So the type of information entered would be fuel use, vehicle miles traveled, the truck model year. John could probably talk more about the information submitted in a few moments. The rankings make environmental performance visible and actionable by shippers and 3PLs, and they're able to include sustainability in their business decisions. Please keep in mind that we only ask for data that we need to develop the environmental performance score, and we carefully safeguard all that raw business information that partners share with us. The only thing that we make public is a range of information, so it's never the partner's raw business data. Partners know that EPA's goal is to improve their environmental performance. And so to achieve this goal, we offer technical assistance through our partner account management teams to help companies lean their supply chains. And as companies improve the efficiency of how goods are moved, they cut emissions and save money. So that's it in a nutshell. That's basically our business case. How does the shipper benefit? Let's see. The shipper, um, they use the SmartWay data to analyze emissions. They can see which carriers are more efficient and which modes are more efficient. Sometimes they find that, you know, it's better to use rail if they can, or it's better to use barge if, if possible. They began using the carriers and modes to ship more of their goods, and they also incorporate SmartWay into their bid process. Many shippers use incentives to encourage carriers to join, and once joined, they include incentives to help them improve. They also take advantage of the many resources that SmartWay offers to help them understand and adopt best practices to further cut emissions and save fuel and dollars. Partners tell us that these shipper-based strategies have helped to improve their carrier relations. For example, shipping dock idle reduction, offering flexible delivery hours and reduced packages. Now, how does the carrier benefit? The carrier is able to use SmartWay reports to analyze their performance and to see how they compare with prior years and with their peers. Carriers use SmartWay to access their performance year over year, and that, that allows them to compare against their peers. To help carriers improve performance, SmartWay provides up-to-date information on fuel-saving technologies, strategies, and equipment. And this includes SmartWay verified tires, retreads, aerodynamic equipment, SmartWay designated tractors and trailers. Many of the best practices that we encourage carriers to consider are either low or no cost, like reduced idling, speed control, more efficient shifting strategy, load optimization. Working with our sister program in Canada, we developed a free online driver training to help truck drivers and trucking fleets adapt these and other fuel efficient driving practices. We found that technologies are helpful, but really it's the driving behavior, the, dri the actual driving strategies that contribute to reduce emissions and uh, fuel savings. So once the partner's in the program, we drive improvement with recognition and communication. 
Each year we recognize the uh, top one to two percent of our partners who um, have um, great environmental performance with a Smart Way Excellence Award. And it's, it's a very competitive process. As I said, it's literally one to two percent. But in addition to our annual reward, awards, we also highlight best practices and partner achievements in multiple ways. For example, we have the Smart Way Partner List on our website. We spotlight new partners in the monthly e-update newsletter that goes out to like 10,000 um, people in the industry. We highlight partners through partner profiles and case studies. And we also have a top performers list. So it's not as, um, you don't have to be in that top one to 2%, but it's um, those companies, shippers, carriers, and logistics that have um, in, um, employed best practices so that they've improved year over year. And then we ask partners to join us as speakers and presenters at industry and EPA events. Sometimes we've asked the partner to be featured in a, a trade journal article, um, and, and that's a way that we share a best practice that they've used. And we have found that this approach is highly effective because again, we want to recognize the partners for taking the time to participate in the SmartWay program. Our re partner results are great. We're, we're, we're very humbled by the achievements of our partners, including EVO Transportation. Collectively, they've avoided 134 million tons of air pollutants, which contributes to healthier air in the communities they serve. And they have saved over $37 billion in unnecessary fuel costs. And then we're supported by a great team of folks in our EPA regional offices and by our 200 affiliate organizations, such as Wisconsin Clean Cities and South Shore Clean Cities. And as you know, these are the not-for-profit trade professional groups that help us spread the word about SmartWay and sustainable freight transportation. Lastly, I just want to say that our stakeholders extend beyond our borders. In 2012, Natural Resources Canada adopted SmartWay in Canada, and this partnership offers opportunities to jointly collaborate on activities to leverage resources. And we offer one seamless program to many businesses with goods that cross our northern border. We're also working with Mexico to update their green freight program, which is based on an earlier version of SmartWay. So we've got a pilot program going on in Mexico, and eventually we'll have SmartWay in all of North America. I would encourage all partners to get the most out of SmartWay by participating in the various webinars we offer, um, learn how to improve carrier performance and activities that can then improve their environmental performance. And that improved smart way ranking can influence a shipper's choice in which carrier they hire. I encourage partners to celebrate their smart way successes publicly. Share your sustainability efforts in your um, annual reports. Share that information on your website. Reward and recognize innovation. If you're a shipper, we encourage our shippers to reward and recognize their carriers who are smart way partners or who are top performing partners. And we know many of our carriers um, um, recognize their drivers who drive efficiently. So with that being said, that's it for the smart way portion. I will now turn it over to John Sheehy, Chief Operations Officer at EVO Transportation, and I'm proud to say that EVO Transportation is a SmartWay partner. Thanks, Patrice. John has been CEO, COO of EVO Transportation since January 2019. EVO purchased Sheehy Mail Contractors as part of a roll-up strategy for U.S. mail contractors. Sheehy Mail Contractors was a large supplier to the United States Postal Service operating long haul between major cities in the United States. 
John served as Sheehy's president and CEO since 2012 and as COO since 1985. John is also the national president of the National Star Route Mail Contractors Association, an advocacy group of over 800 mail contractors nationwide. John was an early adapter of EOBRDs in 1990 and CNG use in Class 8 trucks in 2012. Welcome, John. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Katie. Um, and thank you uh, for the invitation for, from the Wisconsin Clean Cities and Patrice for a, a great job of outlining what the SmartWay program actually does and, and some of those uh, those great results. Um, I'm going to just focus on our company, um, our uh, Sheehy Mail Contractors. Um, Evo is about a year old now, uh, but uh, most of what I've uh, prepared uh, sort of belongs to the, the legacy company, but uh, these these values that our legacy company uh, have brought are, are, are spreading through EVO as well. So, um, and next slide, uh, Katie, I'm let's move to, the, there we go, okay, all right. Um, just a little bit of history about uh, Sheehy Mail Contractors. We've we've been a we're a family-owned company that uh, has existed since 1952. Uh, we haul uh, U.S. mail uh, from different cities um, across the United States. Uh, the the United States Postal Service contracts out much of its um, over-the-road business to private carriers. Um, uh, there, there's approximately 18,000 highway mail contracts in the U.S. Postal Service, um, and Sheehy Mail and, and now Evo um, represent a large portion of those uh, those contracts. Um, historically, uh, uh, mail contracting has been a very regular, static um, uh, business, uh, and, and also very competitive. So. Many of the things that we've learned through SmartWay have helped us on a, as a competitive edge to save fuel, save hours, save time, uh, those types of things. We we operate millions of miles and to date um, have operated a little over 90 million miles on uh, CNG in our fleet. So these uh, impacts that uh, Patrice talked about, um, we feel every day because of the large amount of miles we run, it has a huge impact on our environmental footprint and our efficiency. And when we run our SmartWay reports every year, um, we see just what that impact is. And I'm proud to say over the last three years, we've been one of the top performers um, in the SmartWay carrier, Smart carrier program. Um, okay. I'm sorry, I'm not getting the slide thing, Katie, so. There we go. Um, so some of the initiatives that we've uh, we've done over the years, and it, and it dates back to when my grandfather ran the company um, in, in the 1960s, he experimented with uh, rolled uh, van body tops, uh, which, which saved about 4% in fuel economy. And of course, we've uh, taken that uh, continually improved on aerodynamics over the years, but uh, you know, we we started some of that way back in the 1960s. Um, in the 1970s, um, it, like a lot of carriers, we we transitioned from uh, smaller gasoline engines to diesel, um, effectively um, uh, doubling our miles per gallon and, and cutting our fuel costs in half. Um, in the 1990s, and and probably way before it was popular in the in the industry. In fact, uh, it was just mandated to have electronic onboard recorders in, in 2017. Uh, we've been using them since 1990. Um, and, and those devices really give us more data, more measurement to see how we're doing as a company. And, and like the SmartWay program does, it, it allows us to measure and then um, become better as we go. Um, in 1995, uh, we we um, took our EO, our electronic onboard devices, added GPS to it, and then developed our own transportation management system that actually tied into that uh, device to get more uh, efficiency as we ran our operations. In 2003, 
the all the work we've done electronically with these devices um, turned out to be a, a product in itself. And we developed a company called Load Track Software, which is a uh, transportation management system and an ELD combined that uh, over 10,000 trucks on the road today use, uh, not counting our own fleet. Um, 2012 was really a turning point for us with alternative fuels. Uh, we we partnered with Wisconsin Clean Cities uh, on some grant programs and actually demonstrated that we could save a fair amount of money and fuel costs as well as a, a huge impact on our environmental footprint um, with a with a test of 10 uh, vehicles in, in 2012. We've since um, taken that test and expanded it over where today 90% of the of the legacy Sheehy company runs on CNG. Okay, some of the advantages that we've seen over the time is, uh, is these fuel economy improvements. Um, uh, our environmental footprint has has decreased, our impact footprint. Uh, we've done this with the aerodynamics, as I've talked about, the electronic onboard recorders, and now ELDs, and then CNG. Um, and really, uh, what we've seen uh, as we've we've gone through this process is that our customer, uh, the United States Postal Service, um, really was a, a, an instigator and push for these alternative fuels early on which uh, we, we took that, um, that challenge and, and made it happen. Um, since then, some of our commercial customers have really asked for alternative fuels. Um, we've, uh, we've helped uh, Agility and Cummins and some of the uh, uh, alternative fuel um, providers uh, with, with some data to show how we can lower costs, uh, reduce emissions, um, increase our public profile, uh, essentially smart way, and some of the, the Wisconsin Clean Cities has, has really helped us uh, promote what we're doing out to the rest of the world, and hopefully uh, more people have followed uh, to what we're, what we're doing. Um, and in SmartWay, uh, their measurement devices, Patrice touched on the, uh, the spreadsheet. I, I would say that it's very easy to maintain every year, and we find it extremely interesting, uh, the results that we see every year based on how we've uh, moved the needle that year. Uh, so SmartWay, we, we've been a part of it since 2012. Um, uh, we've we filled out a report for since then, and, and like I said, it's uh, it's really interesting to see year over year how your improvement uh, process has worked. Um, I can't uh, tell you how often we, um, we we go to the SmartWay website for information about uh, which trucks, which trailers, which wind effects, and which aerodynamics, um, which systems are SmartWay certified, and and, and by having that data all done prior, it really eliminates our, our need to do our own testing. Um, and by implementing many of the things that, uh, that we see out there, that's really become our measuring system and our way to become better. Um, and, and also um, what we've seen is our customers are, are now promoting SmartWay and some of them uh, require you to be a SmartWay partner in order to do business with them, which, which is exciting and um, certainly um, I think was is pushing um, the SmartWay program as a as a a way to do this um, even further. So I'd I'd like to thank um, everybody that invited us to this and uh, certainly encourage anybody who's listening to this webinar to become a SmartWay member and uh, really start seeing some of the advantages of what's going on. So. Thank you, Katie. Yeah, thank you both, John and Patrice, for sharing some of your experiences working with the SmartWay program. We really appreciate it here at Wisconsin Clean Cities. Um, and if you have any questions regarding today's webinar, please feel free to reach out to Patrice, John, Wisconsin Clean Cities, or South Shore Clean Cities. And thank you for listening.